So in this video I'm going to show you how you can join your Ubuntu machine to a Windows domain from the command line. Um, it's a little bit easier than it may seem but there's a few steps to it. So, hi I'm Matt and welcome to Crazy Logic. So I have my virtual machine, a uh, new one, I've just freshly installed it, I'm logged in as Dave, new Dave. Uh, and you can see my machine name is this ridiculously long thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, host name of the machine. Great, so now I have a more sensible uh, host name. So uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to install a tool called uh, Realm. Basically it helps the whole process together. Um, this is what Ubuntu installer uses underneath, so it's the same thing but different. So you do sudo apt install. Now the package is actually Realm D. So I'll just install that. Super. So next thing to do is we're going to discover our domain. So we're going to make sure our domain is accessible. So the first thing to do is do an ns lookup. Uh, still domain dot local. So you can see I've, I can resolve it, which is good. So we do a realm discover uh, and then domain.local. And you can see it comes back and it gives us some information. It says there's some packages we need to install. That's not a problem. You don't need to install them manually. We can do that as part of the whole join process. We'll quickly have a look at the, the realm options here. So realm uh, join, and then if we do a dash H, it'll give us some options. The dash U, or the, the capital U, dash capital U, or dash dash user, is the way that you can set the name of the administrator that you want, to, or the name of the user account that you want to use the join permissions of. So normally it's the administrator account in a Windows, uh, small Windows setting, but you may change that to be your personal account, so you can do domain joins, or you may have a specific domain joining account which is a, a better security model so every admin would have their own account just for domain ad uh, purposes uh, and that way you can it's just much more secure uh, when it comes to larger uh, infrastructure so that's how you can set it you can change the user with a big dash u the other thing you might want is the computer ou uh, so if you have lots of computers you might want to drop drop them uh, straight into a, a container or an organizational unit within uh, AD. So that's how you can set that. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to drop them into the computers folder. But these are the options that you might have. So we can do domain join, domain.local, and let's go. So it asked me for my administrator password. This is my domain administrator password, as in the user account within the domain. And it'll ask me for my local uh, password because I didn't do this with sudo. If you do it with sudo, it doesn't ask. It's going to go away and install some packages that it needs, and then hopefully it should just configure it all and add itself to the domain. So it's not given us an error, so it should now have uh, added itself to the domain. So we can double check this from the machine uh, in a couple of ways. So we're going to do realm list, which shows us what realms we are. Uh, or what domains we're members of. So you can see we're member of domain.local and uh, you can see here we've got our login policy, our login formats, which we've covered in a different video. So in theory, I should now be able to switch user to a domain account. So we'll go with user one again. Uh, I have to have the domain.local because it's in the login format. So you can see it's got the at domain. So I should be able to switch user to them. Uh, and that's great so you can see I'm now logged in as user1 at domain.local but on this host name we can exit out of that and then we can also double check this added it to a uh, domain from a domain controller or from anywhere else we can have a look in here and you can see Ubuntu 2104 CMD so that's the name of the machine that I set and you can see it's dropped it straight into the computers folder as we would expect. So that's how you can just add a machine from a command line. It's pretty simple, really, but if you're having trouble with the installers process, 
then this is a way that you can quickly jump out and install a machine from a command line and if there's any issues you can also just add the verbose output so you can add dash v and it will give you any errors or any tips uh, along the way most likely if you're having trouble it's going to be either you haven't got the package or you don't have access to the package to install the component or you cannot resolve via dns your domain correctly or you've got long wrong credentials pretty simple stuff anyway thanks for watching check out the rest of the playlist as there is going to be loads of things and little bits to do with ubuntu on a windows domain thanks for watching